Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Math grade 8. We are in the model 4. Today we have lesson 4. Direct variation. Direct variation. So, we want in this lesson to derive the equation y equal mx from the slope formula and use the direct variation equations to represent and solve real world and mathematical problems. So, what the meaning of the direct variation? When the ratio of two variable quantities is constant, a proportional linear relationship exists. So this proportional linear relationship is called direct variation, direct variation. So the constant ratio is also called the constant of variation, the constant of variation or the constant of proportionality. In the direct variation equation, y equal mx, m here represents the constant of variation. m means the constant of variation. So the constant of proportionality, the slope, the same meaning of the slope, the same meaning of the slope. So when you see direct variation or constant of proportionality, or slope the same meaning and the all is the unit rate the all will be the unit rate so a direct variation is a linear relationship in which the ratio of y to x is a constant m so we say y varies direct with x so as you see here, m constant, m from where? From y over x. Or we have the standard equation of the linear y equal mx. So where m is the constant of variation, m the constant of variation. And m doesn't equal zero, and m doesn't equal zero. So as you see here, we have this equation, y equal to x. This is the linear, this is y equal to x. This linear passes through uh, the origin. The slope of the graph of y equal mx is m since 0, 0. 0, 0 means the point of the origin is one solution of y equal mx. The graph of a direct variation the relationship always passes through the origin, always passes through the origin. So you can use a slope formula to derive the direct variation equation. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 equal the m. And then we have the two points here. The first point, the origin, 0, 0, 0 in x and 0 in y. And the second point, x, y. And here, y2 means y, and x2 means x. And the value of y1 will be 0, and the value of x1 will be 0. So y minus 0, and here x minus 0. y minus 0 means y, and x minus zero means x. So y over x equal what? Equal m. So we can write this equation. Y equal mx. Y equal mx. For example, write direct variation equations from graphs. The question here, the cost y of geometrics 
lesson varies directly with the number of sessions x as shown in the graph as we see here we have number of sessions and here we have the cost and here we have the linear through bar the two points here write a direct variation equation to represent this relationship then identify the constant of the variation and interpret its meaning so write a direct variation equation at the first write a direct equation uh, uh, vari uh, variation equation how find the slope the first step find the slope m using the graph how to find the slope we can use this formula slope equal rise over run rise over run the rise as you remember from the last lesson this is the rise will be here 10 and the run this is the run will be 1 so rise over run means 10 over 1 10 over 1 so the slope of the line is 10 over 1 or 10 the second step to write the equation use the value of m to write the equation we know we remember the standard form of the equation y equal mx and the value of m equal 10 so we can write now y equal 10x write the value of m 10 so we can write y equal 10x so the direct variation equation is y equal 10x y equal 10x then find the constant of variation and interpret it its meaning the constant of variation is equal to the slope of the graph so the constant of variation the same meaning of the slope 10 over 1 or equal 10 so this means that the unit rate or cost per session is 10 and in this example here the time y it takes you to hear thunder uh, varies directly with your distance x from the lightning as shown in the graph and here here we have the distance and here we have the time and here we have uh, the direct variation so the first step we want to write a direct variation equation to represent the relationship type. As you remember, the standard form of the equation y equal m x. So we want to find m. We want to find m. So from uh, from this line, you can choose two points. And for example, we can choose this point. And for example, we can choose this point. And at this point, as you see here, and this point, the y will be 15. And the x will be 3. And at this point, we have six. Thirty. Now we can use the formula y equal y two minus y one over x2 minus x1 
Why to uh, 30? Minus Y115. X26. Minus X13. Thirty minus fifteen will be fifteen, and six minus three will be three. Fifteen divided by three will be five. So the slope now, or the uh, constant of uh, direct variation, equal five. So go back to this equation and put the value of m equal five. You will get this equation: y equal five x y equal 5x identify the constant of the variation and enter it in its meaning the constant of variation is 5 so this means that for every mile you are from the lightning you will have thunder 5 seconds after you see the lightning In this example, we want to write direct variation equations from words. So the cost of bulk B units uh, varies directly with the weight of the units. At a local grocery store, two pounds of uh, units cost $5.80. So write a direct variation equation to represent the relationship, then identify the constant of variation and uh, interpret its meaning. At the first, we want to write the direct variation equation. At the first, we want to find the unit rig M. How to find M? Uh, rise over run or y over x. y means the cost and x means the weight. So we can write 50.80 over 2 pounds equal 2.90 dollars over pound. This unit rate means this is the constant of direct variation. So the unit rate is 2.90 dollar per pound. The second step, use the unit rate to write the equation. You know the equation here, y equal mx with the value of m 2.9x. So the direct variation equation equal y equal 2.9x. Find the constant of variation and interpret its meaning. The constant of variation is the unit rate. So the constant of variation is 2.9. This means the cost per pound of units will be $2.90. In this example, the amount of money Olivia earns very direct, directly with the number of weeks. Show works after four weeks. Olivia earned three thousand dollars. So the first step: write the direct variation equation to represent uh, this relationship. So m equal y over x. Y means the amount here, 3,000. And X means 4. 3,000 divided by 4 will be 750. And you know the standard form Y equal MX. 
So the value of M will be 750. You will get the direct variation equation Y equals 750X. Then identify the constant of variation and interpret its meaning. The constant of variation is 750. This means Olivia and 750 beer week or beer one week. The third example, right direct variation equation from the table, from the table. As you see in this table, we have here cups of uh, cats. Uh, this is the represent the value of X. And here, cups of floor represent the value of Y. So, uh, Oprah is baking oatmeal cookies for the school carnival using the amounts shown in the table. The number of cups of floor varies directly with the number of cups of oats. So write a direct variation equation to represent this relationship, then identify the constant of variation and interpret its meaning. Write a direct variation equation. So at the first one to find the slope M. How to find the slope M? We can choose two points from the table, then find the change in the X and, and Y values. We can choose uh, two points, and here two, four point, eight, uh, four, eight point, six, 12 point, eight, uh, 16 point. So for example, I will choose the choose four, eight. This is the first point. And I will choose here, for example, two, four. This is the second point. So here we have x2, here x1, here y2, here y1. So we can uh, use the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 means 8, y1 means 4 minus 4, over x2 will be 4, minus x1 will be 2, now 8 minus 4 will be 2, and 4 minus 2 will be 1. So this is the slope. So use the value of m to write the equation. y equal mx with the value of m2, so y equal 2x. So the direct variation equation will be y equal to x. Then find the constant of variation and interpret its meaning. The constant of variation is equal to the slope. So the constant of variation is 2. So this means that the unit rate is 2 cups of floor beer cup of oats. This uh, example is the same uh, idea. The time it takes Madeline to swim laps is shown in the table. The time spent swimming varies directly with the number of laps he swims. So in this table, we have here number of laps represent x, and here the second column time using the seconds represent y. So we can choose two points from this table. For example, here we have 1, 45, and here we have 2, 9. So we want to find the slope m equal 
y to 90 minus y1 45 x2 minus x1 so 90 minus 45 will be 45 and 2 minus 1 will be 1 so 45 over 1 means 45 then write the standard form of the equation y equal mx then put the value of m equal what 45 you will get the direct variation equation the second part identify the constant of variation and interpret its meaning the constant of variation is 45 this means that it takes a medlin 45 seconds to swim each lap. So who has uh, any question about this idea? Okay. The second idea, slope intercept form, slope intercept form. So in this idea, we want to write equations of the form y equal mx plus b. And that we know the form y equal mx. Now we have y equal mx plus b. When given a table, graph, or a variable description. So what the meaning of slope? intercept form of a line non-proportional linear non-proportional linear relationship can be written in the form y equal mx plus b m means the slope and b means y intercept y intercept means the instruction between the linear and the y-axis. So what is the difference between this equation and this equation? This is for proportional relationship and this is for non-proportional relationship. So y equal mx plus v, this is called the slope-intercept form. When an equation is written in the form, m is the slope, m is the slope, and b, the constant here, b, is the y-intercept. What the meaning of the y-intercept? The y-intercept of a line is the y-coordinate of the point where line crosses the y-axis. So as you see here, this is y-axis, and this is the line intersect the y-axis. This point, this point here, means this is y-intercept. The value of this point will be one in the y, so means the y-intercept will be will be one. And the form of the equation here, y equal mx plus b we know now the value of b the value of b equal one how to find m how to find the slope uh, m will be rise over run so this is the rise will be one and this is the run will be two So means m equal one over two. So go back to the equation, y equal, the value of m will be one over two, x 
plus the value of p will be what will be one. In a non-proportional linear relationship, the graph passes through the point zero b, which is the y intercept. You can use the slope formula to derive the equation of a line in a slope intercept form. As you see from this graph, we have this is the line, this is the y intercept. And this is the second point, x1. And as you see, in this case, the line doesn't pass the origin because this is non-proportional. So at the first, you want to find the slope m equal y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And here, here y2, here y1 means y minus y minus and here x2 and here x1 means x minus 0. So y minus p up and x minus 0 means x equal m. So we can do here a cross product. m times x will be mx and y minus p times 1 will be y minus p. So then we can take minus p to the second side will be positive p. So we can get the formula y equal mx plus b. For example, identify slopes and y intercepts. Identify the slope and y intercept of the graph of the equation. We have this equation. And from this equation, as you see, m equal what? This is m here, 2 over 3. And what is the value of b? This is b, minus 4. So, to identify the slope and y-intercept of the equation, write the equation in the formula. This is the standard for y equal mx plus b. Then you can compare. m here equal 2 over 3, means m equal 2 over 3. And b here equal minus 4, means y equal by b equal minus 1. So the slope of the graph is 2 over 3, and the y-intercept will be 1, will be negative 4. Identify the slope and y-intercept of graph of equation. At the first, write the standard for y equal mx plus b. The write the equation of the linear here, y equal negative two over five x negative one. Then compare between the two equations, you will find the value of m equal negative two over five, so the slope negative 2 over 5 and b equal negative 1 b equal negative 1 y intercept equal negative 1 in this example write equations in slope intercept form so write the equation of a line in slope intercept form with a slope of we have the slope of negative 3, so m equal negative 3, and y-intercept negative 4 means b equal negative 4. So start write the standard form of the formula, y equal mx plus b, then substitution, put the value of m negative 3, put here negative 3, and put the value of v uh, uh, negative 4. Then you will get uh, the equation y equal negative 3x 
negative 4. So the equation of the line is y equal negative 3. In this question, write the equation of a line in slope intercept from with a slope, a slope of 5 and y intercept of negative 7. So we know now m equal 5 and b equal negative 7. So write the standard form of the formula y equal mx plus b. So substitution with the value of m equal 5. x and with the value of v equal negative 7. So this is the equation. Right equation in slope intercept from uh, uh, for from graphs. Hello. You can write an equation in slope intercept from a non-proportional linear relationship from its graph using this step. This steps. The first step, find the location where the line crosses the y-axis to determine the y-intercept. And as you see, we have this line where this line instruction y-axis and this point. What is the value of this point? Negative one, the value of this point will be what will be negative one so y intercept or b equal negative one then the second is to find the ratio of the rise to run to determine the slope so the slope equal rise over run this is rise go up means positive three and this is run two so the slope m equal 3 over 2. The third step, substitute the values for slope m and y intercept v in the equation. We have the standard for here y equal mx plus v. The value of m will be 3 over 2 and the value of v will be negative 2 and this is the equation. So, write equation in slope intercept form. We want to write an equation in slope intercept form for the graph shown. So, the first is to find the y intercept. As you see here, the y intercept in this point, what is the value of this point? It will be 4. So, b equal 4. So the line crosses the y-axis at 0, 4. So the y-intercept is 4. The second step, find the slope. The slope will be rise, rise over run. M equal. The rise here, as you see, one down means negative one. One to the down means negative one. And the run will be two means m equal negative 1 over 2. So from 0, 4, move down, move down one unit and write 2 unit to another point on the line. So the slope of the line is negative 1 over 2. Then write the equation, write the standard for y equal mx plus v, then substitute the values of uh, for slope m and y intercept v in the equation, what is the value of, of m? Negative one over two. And what is the value of v? Will be one. You will get the equation. And in this example, write an equation in slope intercept from the graph shown. As you see in this graph, you have this is y intercept. So here B equal, we have here one, two, B equal two. 
and we want to find the slope. The slope will be the rise over run. This is the rise. As you see here, one, two, three means negative three. It goes to the down. And this is here, the run. Will be one. So n equal negative three over one means negative three. Then write the standard for y equal m x plus b. Then substitute what is the value of m negative three, write negative three. x plus b b equal to you will get the equation write equations in slope intercept form from a variable description when an equation in slope intercept form a place to a real world situation the slope represent the rate of change and the y intercept represent the entitled value so watch the animation to learn how to write the equation and slope intercept from given the following real world situation. Uh, Bambo is one of the fastest growing planets on Earth. Suppose a bamboo's uh, sailing is five centimeters tall and grows at the rate of 6.5 centimeters. Uh, uh, centimeters a day. So how to find the slope? Find the slope and y intercept. The slope, as you remember, change change in the y over change in the x. Here y represents the height. Change in the height over change in the time. And the height will be 6.5. And we have a time a day. A day means one day. So 6.5 over one day. So this is the rate. This, this is the rate means the slope, the value of the M. And what is the Y intercept? As you see here, always Y intercept represents the integral value. And here the integral value, five centimeters tall. So it will be five. So then we can write the equation, Y equal MX plus B. So y equal m means 6.5 x plus the value of b will be will be 5. Write equation in slope intercept for a student concert is selling tea chart during a spring week. It cost it cost 20 for the design and five to print each shell. Write an equation in slope intercept from the represented from, from the represent the total cost y. So here means y for printing any number of shirt will be x. So here x. The first is to find the slope and y intercept. The slope represents the rate of change or cost beer t-shirt it costs five dollars to print each shirt so the y-intercept represents the identical cost of the design the one time charge for the design will be what will be 20 the cost so the slope is five and the y-intercept will be what will be 20 so we can go 
to write the standard form of the equation, then substitute put the value of m prime and the value of v will be what will be 20. And here the same idea. Type. If you have table, write equations in slope intercept from the table. And you know the standard for y equal mx plus v. So the slope or the rate of change in the table is 6. Why 6? Because you know y equal, uh, m equal y over x or change uh, in y uh, over change in x. The change in y here equal 12. And the change in x equal 2. 12 divided by 2 will be, will be 6. So the slope will be what? Will be uh, 6. Then how to find the V? Uh, always remember the point of intersex, intersecting, intersecting uh, between the linear and the y-axis will be 0 B. Will be 0 B. Means the first point 0, 0 and X and the value of y equal b equal 10. Means here b equal what? Equal 10. So now substitution with the value of m 6 and the value of v 10, you will get the equation. And in this example, the same idea, we have table here. We want to find at the first the slope, change in y, over change in x, here down change in y, 360, and here 280. The difference between between them will be 80, or negative 80, because here y2, here y1. y2 minus y1, and it means here 280 minus 360 equal negative 80. So this is change in the y negative 80. And change in the x, 2 minus 0. 2 minus 0 equal 2. So negative 80 divided by 2 will be negative 40 or negative 40 over 1. So this is the slope. This is the slope. So how to find the y intercept? Always look for the about the uh, the order bands who include 0x or x equals 0. So this is the first point, 0, 360. 0, 360. So now the value of v will be 360. So you can now write the equation y equal mx plus b, the value of m will be negative 4 and the value of it will be 360. So the equation y equal negative 40x plus 60. And here the same idea. And here the same idea. Who has any question about this lesson? Do you have any questions, girls? Is it clear for all? No questions? Okay, uh, I will send to you the homework. And uh, I will send to you the homework and the answer of the homework. And the first study, the lesson from the PowerPoint, then go to the homework to do training. Then you can check uh, your answers from the answer homework. And if you have any question, you can ask me, inshallah, in the uh, next lesson. Do you have any question? No, Mr. Thank you. Okay. So this is our lesson today. Thank you for your listening. Have a nice day. See you, inshallah, tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.